Hello everybody and welcome to another video on Python 3 tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a project so you guys uh, can see how to use basics of Python, the Python that we just learned in practice and uh, get a better understanding uh, of uh, what Python is and the basics of it. So for this project project i picked hangman game so hangman game is a word guessing game so if you're not familiar with it uh, i'm just gonna put a link in the description of the video so make sure that you check that out so for it uh, i'm gonna start by creating a folder named hangman and in the hangman, I'm just going to create a new file named main.py. Uh, you can name it anything you want. So here, I'm just going to write uh, what I'm going to do, I need to do. And I'm just going to break down the game into little problems so it, it will be easier to solve. So first of all, I'm just going to write, uh, actually, uh, the hashtag sign I've just used is used for commenting. So what is a comment? Com comment is something that you write that won't appear in your code. Uh, Python or any other language that you, you write a comment in it, uh, it won't uh, look into the commented section of your uh, code. It, it's not in your code. It's just for you to uh, to make sure that you it, it, the code is more readable and uh, maintainable. Imagine uh, you you've written a code, and after a few months, you come back to your code to make an edit or understand it. Uh, you won't be understand it if you didn't make clear comments uh, on the code. So it's a, always a good practice to well comment your code so it is more readable and maintainable by you and others as well. So always make sure to comment. Uh, the, the hashtag or sharp uh, uh, sign, uh, I'm going with hashtag, uh, is one line comments. So if you want to use some multi-line comments, uh, you need to use triple codes like this. You have to enclose it as well and write your stuff and comments here. Okay. So this is a multi-line uh, comment, but this is a single line comment. So as you can see, I cannot, uh, if I write here, it's a code. But if I write here in this enclosed section, it's a comment as well. So I'm just going to delete this. So let's break the game down. First of all, we need a dictionary. Okay. Uh, we need a dictionary. So then we need uh, to read from that file. We need to read uh, from file or dictionary as well as this is a dictionary file. So then uh, we need to randomly pick a mm, mm, word, pick a word randomly, okay? Then we have to uh, show the word in this format, show the word uh, in this actually like, format where the number of the underlines is the length of the string or length of the word. So there, uh, after this, we need to write an algorithm to for guessing uh, the word that we're going to guess it, the user going to guess it, guess the word, and check uh, the letter. Actually, you check, uh, guess the letter and uh, check, check it. Okay, so after that, we need to, uh, what we need to do, uh, uh, we need to show the 
that scores and lives and yeah the like st uh, stats of the game okay so here's what we're gonna do so first we need a dictionary so there is a dictionary for these kind of stuff that uh, let me close it uh, for these kind of stuff uh, its name is so pods so so pods is a dictionary for Scrabble or hangman game a word game actually so uh, we're gonna download it and use that. It's a free uh, file, so I'm just gonna uh, I've used this, so I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna put a, a link in the description as well. So let's come here and hit download. Okay, as you can see, there's lots of words here. Okay, so let it finish. Right now I'm just going to select O with Control A, then Control C. And I'm going to come here and create a new file named uh, sopods.txt. Then I'm just going to Control and paste it here. Whoa, this is like lots of words, dude. Uh, 267,000 words. Wow, it's lots of work. Okay, I'm just gonna hit Control Save and save it. Then we have uh, we come back to our main .py. So first we need to start uh, opening the file. Okay, we need to read from the file. So first of all, we have to open it. So to open it, I'm just create a variable to open the file and store it in that variable as a file object so it's just gonna be a file so i'm just gonna use did you see that the uh when i wrote file or dictionary or uh i don't know def uh the uh, as you can see their uh, color um changes or th there's lots of other things uh like keywords like these in python uh, I'm gonna put a description for that as well, a link in the description as well. Uh, these keywords you cannot use for variable names because it, they are reserved keywords for some functions, some stuff in the Python itself. So don't use this, like use the file one, okay? Or maybe we use dictionary uh, equal to open as we want to open a file. So to open a file, uh, if we're, uh, if uh, a file is in the folder of the code that we are writing, uh, then you just write the name of the folder, the file, okay, that you want to open. But if it's uh, in another folder, in another directory, uh, you just need to uh, write the whole path into, uh, uh, this open function. So I'm just going to write uh, in, in the strings, in quotes, so pods.txt. So right now, uh, we need to tell Python how to open it. So it's if it's going to just read it, if it's just going to write it, or it's just going to happen that something to it. So if we're gonna do that, uh, if so, it's a dictionary, so we're gonna read from it only. So I'm gonna use the R keyword here. But if uh, I'm, I, I like to write to, to the file, then I'm just gonna use W. If I want to append to a file, then I'm just gonna use A. So whatever it is, just I'm just gonna use R here. So this is our dictionary. So then we have to uh, read the file. So for for example, uh, if I need to read a line, I'm just gonna print a file, print a dictionary, oh sorry, dictionary, dot read 
line. Okay, so I don't want to read multiple lines, just one here. So right now, <clears throat> uh, we have our code, in a simple code. Let me run it. Run Python file in terminal. Oh, it did an error. It didn't find a cell path. Well, because, oh, because we're not in the directory of the hangman. So we need to go to that directory. To do that, we need to go cd and I think it's hangman. Okay. So right now we're in the hangman directory. So let me run this again. So here we are. The first uh, word as uh, described here, this is the first word. So if I call this one more time, uh, so let me copy this and print this uh, one more time, like multiple times. Okay, I'm just gonna run it. As you can see, there is like five other, uh, four other words as well. So mm, it goes through the fifth, fifth words uh, are printed out. So as you can see, if we use the read line option in the file that we just opened, we, uh, it's just gonna go one line and one line. Every time we call the read line function, it's just gonna uh, go one line further. So <clears throat> uh, after this, we need to close our file. So um, if, as you can see here, we just opened it. After we open the file, you need to close a file. The reason is that uh, if you do that, uh, do, you, do you open file so much, like you open it like, I don't know, for like open like multiple files with lots of files, your uh, memory resources are gonna diminish and you cannot open anything or do anything and your program probably will crash. So, uh, to after, so it's a good practice after you finish working with a file, just close it. So to do that, uh, we're gonna use dictionary dot close with parentheses. So here we are, just gonna close it. So let me save it and run. It. Okay, so as you can see, this is like a bit of a hurdle <laughs> that we get have to close every file after we uh, open it. So there is another uh, syntax for opening a file to avoid the closing statement. It is like this, let me copy this and there we are. So it is with open the same thing that we wrote. So pods.txt and are as, so this is the file name we have to give it, dictionary, and come here and paste the print functions. So as you can see, this, we have to use indention. We have to use like, see? Like this, this, I'm sorry, uh, this, this, and this. So what is an indention in Python? Indention indicates and tells Python that these blocks of code are a part of this with open. So after opening uh, this text, uh, as a dictionary, we're gonna run these, and after we finished it, we're gonna get out, and uh, it's just gonna close the uh, dictionary, this file for us. So after this, we're gonna write from the start of the uh, start of the um, line, not with a tab indentation. So tabs for indicating the uh, what are uh, what uh, what blocks of code uh, is there? So 
Uh, as you can see, if I run this, let's save it first, run it. This is the same thing, same result as we got before. So uh, right now we saw that there is like thousands, like 267,000 lines of words or 267,000 words and lines. So what, uh, if we're about to write like print for two, um, 267,000 times, uh, we're just gonna uh, be dead, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I mean, you can't write that thing in your code. It's just gonna be a huge code file, and it's just, I mean, redundant. So there is uh, something called loops in every programming language, so, as well as in Python, uh, there is one that we're gonna use today, and it is, I'm just gonna copy this, the for loop. So what is a for loop? The for loop for, let me, for line in this file dictionary, we're just gonna print uh, so if, or, or we're just gonna print uh, its value, we can print the line. So I'm just gonna save it and run the Python program. So as you can see, it starts to uh, print the words here. It's gonna take a while to finish it. We are already at P. Uh, so, as you can see, it starts a loop a line for dictionary. It uh, iterates over every line of uh, the dictionary file that we just opened. And so, pods that takes the, then I'm just going to print the line. So, uh, this is uh, how we open a file in read uh, that file so in the next uh, video i'm going to introduce you how to pick a random word uh, from a file so see you